Okay, in this video, uh, we continue our discussion with the derivation of the conservation laws. In the last step, we are just gonna try to get the definition or derivation of the Reynolds transport theorem as a topic of the conceptual derivation of conservation laws. Okay, when we consider Let's here. Let's say we have the any system at time t equal to zero. We have some control system. We call this the blue area here is control system. It has some control volume and control surface like here. And at time is go like delta t. It's very small amount of time is more than we obtain the shape. You see the blue areas the again are the they say the our fluid are uh, taking the shape. Still we have our control volume here in like in T killed zero. So okay. Now we consider any composite thermodynamic system like here with the mass, the mass of this system is the M, that is large collection of the simple thermodynamic system, very small uh, systems, they have the size very small, infinite small, the mass is dm, so collection of all these dms give the M, then consider also that the control system is moving, going from here to here, and occupying different control volumes at T, then the control volume it's delta t. So the control volume here is different than the control volume here when the your system is moved. Okay. Uh, t is um, the control surface of C V control volume is designated as a C S as a control surface. And you see from when we move from the time t equal to zero and we move just delta t very small amount of, amount of time like here t plus delta t, t here is the zero for control system exit the, the 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 area is the one you see so but still occupying the, the area is two but now enter the, the area of number three now your new control system in here in initial t equal to zero was 1 plus 2, now is 2 plus 3. So your you can write your control uh, volume at time t equal to 0, 1 um, plus 2, but now your control volume when the, you move the delta t on the time your is summation of the, the number two and three. Okay. This allows the thermodynamics property of the each system to associate with each point occupied the control system. Okay, let's continue our discussion. Okay. Let's uh, make the M is the any arbitrary extensive variable of the system. You know the extensive uh, variable is your system like m is dependent on the size of your system uh, m can be anything and any extensive variable inside of your control system and respected for each your control system here is your control system your control volume by the time is equal to zero here Control volume by the time t equal to delta t because t plus t t is zero then delta t is your this is your control volume this blue area then the area is one here area two here from here to here and area three going from here occupying this area okay and the mass in these regions. CV, CV delta T, CV by T equal to zero control volume, one, two, three, respectively. Let us define dm. dm is an extensive variable in each small uh, differential 
mass differential volume inside your control system we define this dm very small part of your system that's defined here you have some like differential mass or differential volume as we defined before now you can define your m as the derivative of the m respect to big m is the respect to m like here so when we continue we can write for the time is equal to zero for your control system this is your control system here is equal to your control volume when the time is equal to zero so when your time equal to zero your control system that one and your control volume they are equal to each other and they are also the summation of the one here and two here it's also give your same control system equal to control volume summation of the one and two is equal then if you move in the time you move here then your control system as now is the same here your control system now your control system is equal oh sorry your control system is now is the blue area sorry yeah in the second one in the second case now is the control volume equal to control volume in the t plus delta t is equal to m2 and m3 now it is your that one here you see coming from here this is your now control system and control volume okay just a bit move then what's going to be your control volume in the time is equal to t plus delta by the way t is here zero that's why it's delta t it's going to be equal to still m1 and m2 your, your control volume still is going to be same as in as first one your control vo volume doesn't change but your control system and your uh the areas they are just from the definition of the derivative in calculus we can express the change in m inside of your control system dm over db dm control system over dt by the time is equal to zero it's going, what's going to be that m control system t plus delta t minus the control system time equal to zero when we divide this delta t and when the limit go, delta t goes approach to zero we can get the derivative we can obtain how your inside your control system how this extensive variable m change respect to t now we continue we keep the same we can write now from the above definitions we can just insert that one as that one here and we can insert we can that one control volume like from here just insert here okay just go the next step here in here what do i have i have i keep that one here i keep that one here but i can write this control volume t plus delta t minus m1 this came from here basically in the third one third line when i go the, the, the other step then i when i separated this properly i can write this in this form and this form actually for the next step i obtain that one this one so this is actual this is the partial derivative of m respect to t so this left the m over dt is partial derivative of m uh, control volume time is equal to zero is give delta uh, respect to t plus i have this term is what's this the, the an extensive property in the uh, the region three minus region one when the time is equal to delta t or t plus delta t t still again repeat here t is zero now now we, sh we we consider now any 
intensive variable. The intensive variables doesn't change when doesn't depend on your size of your system, like density of your system, uh, like kilogram per um, volume, called mass density or defined rho dm over dv. Since in the system is very small size, this variable can be considered the image of the density function. So your in your in 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 three space in three space again let's say let's consider we are uh in three space x y z and plus t for dimension in three space now your your density in your let's say in your control uh system or control volume is depend on the all these four variables for uh dim for dimension x y z and t then we can write the, the m total mass or your control system at time any time dm line integral of dm or 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 uh triple integral of your your uh, density in your system these are equal to each other and we can write this equation your when the time is equal to zero your control system your control volume kill each other then what's going to be your an extensive variable is going to be your your extensive variable in the same manner we can write that one okay okay when we continue now uh, I, I can find this term when the limit uh, delta t approach to zero. Extensive variable uh, in region three minus extensive variable in region one is when the time is t plus delta t over delta t. When the limit delta t approach to zero, I can write by by this by this. I can insert here t minus one delta t. However, in the region t minus one, and as the delta t approach to zero, it holds dv. I have the dv that one. The then the above volume integral can be replaced by the surface integral, and the early drive equation for the m over dt becomes this form. So when you insert mcv. Control this that one in here, and I can write that one the control surface uh, integral. Then I obtain that form. This form actually often referred to the Reynolds transport theorem. So after this point, when the combination of all this uh, all this mathematics vectors ten tensors dal operator and definition of the derivative substantial total Time derivative and the theorems and the Reynolds transport theorem. We're gonna use all these tools to, to drive the, the conservation laws of momentum, mass, and energy so then i'm going to take this the conservation laws just to apply some uh, specific cases and to reduce this general form the adapt this specific case and then solve this final equations then find and analyze the final equation is going to be the next uh, steps in this course so in the next video i'm just gonna jump the 
BSL momentum part. I'm just gonna go by chapter uh, by chapter. Just touch some important point in each chapter. Then the second phase. Let's go mass and the third phase. I just go energy. Then I'm just gonna finish this course. So and see you in the next video.